Aye, man. We are making a Jamaican beef oxtail. <laughs> and uh, not really, but it's close enough to Jamaican beef oxtail that I have an excuse to make a horrible accent. And I'm not too worried about scaring away my Jamaican followers because I probably did that already when I made the Jamaican beef patties a little while ago. And also my Chinese viewers when I did the soup dumplings. But anyway, let's take a look at how I'm going to make this recipe a bit higher quality, more nutritious and less inflammatory. Hey, it looks like I'm pretty close to taking over the ingredient market because all I need is a Thai girlfriend. And I'm pretty sure that coconut, fish sauce and sugar uh, can all be sourced from Thailand. So uh, maybe we should hop on that. But we have some oxtail from Frankie Strange Meat, guys. We got this nice one pound portions, very small. Collagen broth from Frankie's free range meat as well. Very, very high in amino acids, pretty plain. Uh, you know, not, not super high beef flavor, but we're gonna get that from the oxtail. Frankie's steak seasoning, which actually has the perfect combination of seasonings for oxtail because you would normally put those spices and herbs on oxtail, but since we have this, we don't have to. And there's also some salt in this, so we will not be needing salt. Most recipes do call for soy sauce or replacing that with coconut aminos. And there is fish sauce in traditional Jamaican beef oxtail. Or was it Worcestershire sauce? I don't remember. Sugar is always in the recipe. And normally what they do is they put all this stuff on the meat and then sear it. But that's going to burn. So we're just going to uh, sear off the oxtail, get a nice brown crust on it, and then combine everything in the pressure cooker. Uh, I will say if you want this to like not be carnivore and you want it more traditional, they do add, you know, garlic, onion, carrots, even beans. Uh, but I would imagine this is going to be nicer because you have the meat base and then you can always put this on top of beans or rice, whatever you want to have it with. You know, it, definitely don't put uh, canned beans in, in this recipe because it's just going to taste like the, the beans. It's going to be kind of gross, overpowering flavor. So we're just going to pat the oxtail dry so it gets the crust a lot easier. And I used to really be a fan of oxtail because it's super meaty, flavorful, not so affordable anymore, you know, with uh, all the nonsense going on, the supply chain stuff, and this being a very popular dish in Caribbean restaurants, oxtail is not cheap to say the least. And there's only one per animal. So our pan's a little too hot, it's smoking a little bit, but that should mean that we get the crust a bit easier. Now, a lot of recipes might tell you to like sear this in the actual pressure cooker or instant pot, but those don't usually get hot enough. So we don't really want to burn too much. We'll deglaze the pan with a little water. So we got a little bit of color on the oxtail. Sometimes the, the bone makes it hard to do that because you know the bone sticks out more than the meat. So when you put it in the pan, it's preventing it from contacting and getting the caramelization, but this is gonna be perfect. So we're just gonna put the oxtail in the Instant Pot. Just a little bit of water to get all those pan drippings in there. Now this is the collagen broth we have on Frankie's Free Range Foods. It's very, very gelatinous. If you turn it upside down, it's actually not gonna even come out, so. One of these is probably enough, but we'll try two jars. So we're gonna do about two tablespoons of the steak seasoning, and guys, this is the majority of the salt and the seasoning in here. So I'll just make sure to add enough. The recipe calls for sugar. I don't really think we should add sugar, but we'll just do a quarter cup. Maybe that's when you put spices in it. It uh, off, offsets the habanero pepper. So about a tablespoon of coconut aminos and a tablespoon of fish sauce. You know what, I guess if you want something a little more natural, you could put uh, honey instead of the sugar. So we want to do about 45 minutes on high pressure. So meat, more, maybe 46 minutes, high pressure. So if you guys haven't used an Instant Pot before, this says 46 minutes, but it's going to take, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get ready. And then it's going to take another 20, 30 minutes to actually naturally reduce the pressure in it. So I would do this at least, you know, two hours before you want to have this. So the pressure just dissipated. Still very, very hot. 
Yeah, you definitely don't need uh, two jars of that collagen broth. One would be plenty. But the oxtail is uh, fall apart. You guys see it just came off with the tongs. So we just got a plate of organic white rice. And we'll spoon some of the broth over it. This is definitely one of those recipes where you want it to sit at least 12 hours overnight, the next day or two. The flavor is gonna become more pronounced, melded together. It's gonna to be much, much, much tastier, but I like to get to bed before 5 a.m. today, so we're gonna try it now. Hot, fresh out of the pressure cooker, and clearly you do not need a knife. I haven't had an oxtail in, oh man, it might be years I haven't had an oxtail. I can't remember. I don't usually make it, but the amount of flavor that's in this for just two hours is unbelievable. Most flavor I've had in any, you know, dish in that period of time. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to wrap up this video so that I can sit down, enjoy my meal, and get some rest. Everything used in this video, guys, organic, high quality. You're going to feel good eating this, and it will be delicious. You can go to frank to check out Frankie's Range Meat, Frankie's Range Foods, I think we're going to take that collagen broth and our chicken stock, put it in the freezer, and sell it on the meat website as well now. So keep an eye out for that next week. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my next video. Thanks for joining, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow. Guys, forget the oxtail. I changed my mind. Get some bread and dip it in this because it is crazy. It's crazy good as I burnt myself. That's what you gotta do. Get an organic baguette, dip the bread in the beef broth and so good, so good.